guys welcome so today we're gonna do something a little bit different so it is new year's eve right now and um i am gonna go ahead and tell you guys what my five favorite fragrance mess from 2023 from bath and body works so um i basically picked out my top five that I liked that came out from 2023. So it's not like just my favorites overall, but it's what came out actually in that year of 2023 from Bath and Body Works. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share my favorites with you guys. And I would love if you also go ahead and put what your favorite scent or scents from Bath and Body Works from the year 2023, this past year. So let me know what your favorites were. And I definitely look forward to hearing about um, everyone's favorites. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into mine. All right, so I rounded up five. So um, these are the, like my top, ones that I just really love. I really fell in love with these top five. And I also have one little bonus. So I have a travel size one that I did like a little bonus. So it's going to be like six fragrances really, um, including the travel size. So we're going to go into it. Um, these are in no particular order right now. I might do like a ranking at the end, maybe we'll see it, but let's just go ahead and get started and go over these. So um, this one right here, I definitely fell in love with. This one came out this summer. It has been out before, so this is a repackage, but this packaging is definitely super cute. And not only is the packaging really cute on this one, the fragrance is just so good. I think this is one of my top, top favorites. This could be actually my top favorite from Bath and Body Works this last year. It is such a well blended fragrance, but yeah, there's like a straw in there. So if you can see it, um, it's blue and white striped and it's down the middle through like where you pump it out and spray. And it's super cute. It looks kind of like a drink or something. They had a couple others come out when this one did come out as well. They had, um, I believe it was Sparkling Orange Spritz. And then they had Poolside Cabana come out in the same kind of packaging this last summer. But yeah, this one's Sunset Glow. And this one definitely is one of my favorites from this year. I fell in love with this one. And I kept going back to it over and over and over because I just loved it so much. So the fragrance notes on this one are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. So yeah, this does have a floral element in it, but is really not what the focus is on. Like this smells so good. This kind of smells like a gourmand to me. You definitely get the cherry and um yeah you do get a little bit of that coconut as well but not much and that caramelized vanilla is really what is so good in this one like i i just really really love the blend of all these notes like it smells so delicious it almost smells like ooey and gooey and that caramelized vanilla is just giving it kind of like a dessert feel with that cherry it's so good um yeah i love how this one smells it's creamy it's sweet. It's, um, it's just like such a pretty scent. Like I definitely love this one and that cherry. I really fell in love with cherry scents this year. So this definitely was one of my favorites and probably, you know, actually I think this is like my top favorite of the year. So guys, this definitely is like my favorite one. And I feel like you can wear this really any time of year. I did wear it quite a bit in summer and then I kind of got more into like fall fragrances and winter fragrances, but I'm about to pull this back out because you can definitely wear this in any season and it's such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So yeah, Sunset Glow. So next we're going to go to one that I've been talking about a lot recently. So this one right here is my like one of my favorites as of now, like this season. 
So this one is Strawberry Snowflakes. So Strawberry Snowflakes is such a nice fragrance. Um, I passed on it the year before this year when it actually came out. And then this is a repackage that came out this year. So um, yeah, I passed on it because I thought it'd be too similar to Strawberry Pound Cake, but it definitely is totally different than Strawberry Pound Cake. It's a lot lighter of a fragrance. It's like light and fluffy and almost a little bit fresh from that bergamot, I think. So the fragrance notes on Strawberry Snowflakes are Juicy Strawberry, Whipped Cream, and Iced Bergamot. So this smells so good, guys. The strawberry in this is just so so juicy and sweet and almost like syrupy and then you have that whipped cream that adds like kind of like a very fluffy type element in this it smells so delicious and then i believe the bergamot is just kind of giving it a freshness it almost feels floral but it's not but yeah it's a beautiful fragrance and i fell in love with this one the minute that i got it i actually got it in a travel size at first and then I loved it so much I had to get the full size. I don't like getting really backups or anything because I don't go through my collection that quickly. So, so yeah, I'm super happy to have this one though and it is such a great scent and I am in love with this one this season. So that one is Strawberry Snowflakes. And now we're going to go to another one that was released around the same time as Strawberry Snowflakes. So this one right here, I also really fell in love with it when I first smelled it. And I was actually kind of torn about getting this one if I should even get this one because I'm really not like a floral lover at all. Um, a lot of florals tend to give me headaches and things like that, but this one was recommended by so many people that I definitely felt like I had to grab it. And I'm so glad I did because this has become one of my favorite fragrances over this past like few months. So this one is Dahlia and it is such a beautiful fragrance. I don't know why, but this one also gives me kind of vibes like sunset glow like it is just so well blended and creamy and almost dessert like like I love the way this smells it is definitely not like a loud floral or a sharp floral or anything like that to me the floral really takes like the background in this but I mean you can still kind of smell it but it's definitely not a sharp like floral that would give me a headache at all like I fell in love with the blend of this scent. It is so comforting and creamy. So the fragrance notes on this are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. So yeah, that Whipped Tonka Bean and the Praline Musk smell really, really good. You can definitely smell that pear in there as well. And you do get floral, but it's such a soft kind of floral that it's kind of more just blended in there just like the moonflower from the sunset glow it's just blended so so well and yeah I'm usually a gourmand lover and this kind of I don't know to me this is almost like a gourmand floral so yeah I have been loving this one um ever since I first smelled it it didn't have to grow on me or anything um, definitely a love from first sniff. So that is why this is a, another one of my favorites from this last year. I know that the, this is a repackage, but, um, pretty much all of, well, not all of them, but most of the ones that I just talked about were repackages as well. But, but these versions did come out in 2023 and it's the first time that I have experienced these fragrances. So yeah, to me, these are, my top ones of this past year of what was released and then we're going to go to the next one so the next one here is one that some people might not agree with me on this but to me this is one of my top favorite fragrances from this past year and this one is among the clouds so I personally love Among the Clouds. I like berry and vanilla type fragrances though. Um, I know a lot of people thought this was more almost like childish smelling or something, but to me it is definitely not. It is so beautiful. I love this smell. It's kind of like a candy smell though, I guess. 
but it's not so much candy that it's like too much or too sweet. You definitely get the mixed berries in here and like a vanilla, but I think it is beautiful. Um, this could definitely be worn like any season or anything like that. I love how the nozzle is um, pink. I can always find this one because it is easy to see and it stands out with that pink nozzle. But yeah, the scent is just so good. Um, I mean, a lot of people might consider this basic, but I really love this. And it's to me, it's like comforting and fruity and kind of like happy all at the same time. So it just gives me really nice, you know, just a nice, sweet fragrance, really. So the fragrance notes on here are wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. So just two fragrance notes. So that's very simple. That's why like a lot of people probably would think this is basic, but, but I love this one personally. Um, I do have the lotion of this one as well. Um, I had a bar soap of this and I actually did not enjoy the bar soap. There was like a weird note in the bar soap that threw off the fragrance that I don't get in the fragrance mist or the lotion. So I don't know what was up with that because I've had other bar soaps from them too. And I haven't had that same like weird note in it, but yeah, I did not enjoy the bar soap of among the clouds, but the fragrance mist and the lotion, definitely one of my top favorites. Um, I love how this one can be used every day. It's just a really casual type, very sweet, you know, vanilla type fragrance. So yeah, it's definitely a love for me. Um, I love this one so much. I actually got the spray at first and then I used it with like other lotion and I started falling in love with it and I decided I need to pick up the lotion to go with that. So I went ahead and did and best, de best decision ever because it is so good and I think they're probably discontinuing this one because I think they're selling it out at SAS, but definitely a good one to pick up or have in your collection if you do like berry scents. Okay, so now for the last large bottle of fragrance that I'm going to share with you guys. And then I do have one more mini that I'm going to share with you guys that is one of my top favorites now as well. So this last big bottle, this one came out this fall. This one was actually like a new fragrance, which actually I don't think I mentioned Among the Clouds was a new fragrance as well this year. So this one came out, I think it was at the beginning of the year. Um, and it's the first time that this one came out. So it's also the first time this other one came out in this last fall. And it came out in a collection of vanillas. So there was only two fragrances in this collection though. And this is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. So this I definitely had to add to this video because this is such a great fragrance. It is so good. So it is a bit deep and you know, you could consider this more of like a nighttime fragrance or something like that. But to me, um, I could use this anytime, but it smells so delicious guys. It is, um, more bourbon heavy though than vanilla, I would say, but it mixes and it smells so delicious. This is like a very, very long lasting fragrance. So yeah, if you like a long lasting fragrance, this is definitely one of them. It's not light at all. So the fragrance notes on here are warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. So yeah, you definitely get that bourbon. Like to me, bourbon is kind of in the forefront of this. It smells really good. It's like a kind of a boozy scent. Like this definitely is kind of a boozy scent. So if you do not like boozy scents, you probably would not like this. But if you do like boozy scents, this is definitely a good one. But yeah, you get a lot of that booziness with like a vanilla and it's kind of like a deeper vanilla. It's like a deep fragrance. To me, this is kind of like sultry and seductive and sexy. It kind of reminds me of like a nighttime fragrance, but at the same time, I think you could wear this anytime and I definitely do. But yeah, this is one of my favorites too. It's another one that is really well blended to me. Like all the notes come together and blend really, really well in this one. So I had to add this one to my list of favorites for 2023 because this is just so 
so good. So strong, such a great fragrance. Yeah, it's definitely a good one. And I love vanillas already. And then, yeah, this with the bourbon, it is delicious. So it's great in fall, but it's also a great winter fragrance. When it comes to spring and summer, this might turn more into like an evening fragrance because it is a bit heavy for like a really hot day or anything like that. But yeah, definitely had to have this one as one of my five top favorites for the year. And now we're on to my little like bonus mini. So this is the six and like bonus scent. So this one came out just recently and I was really hoping this was going to be in full size body care, but it did not come out in full size body care, but I am glad that it came out in the mini at least. So this one is hot cocoa and cream. So this is one that came out for this winter and I, Definitely wanted to get my hands on this one. I was hoping they would have like a lotion or cream to go with it, um, but they only had a hand cream, which I'm good on that. So I will put the fragrance notes down below since there's no fragrance notes on the back of this one, but um, I believe it's like rich milk chocolate and um, steamed milk and mini marshmallows. So yeah, it definitely to me is like a powdery chocolate scent yeah it's a very powdery chocolate scent um this one blends really good with any vanillas so if you use like a vanilla lotion as a base this definitely is a good one to use over that kind of scent or like if you have different lotions like mint ones you could do a mint you know hot chocolate type combo like you can combine this with a lot of different lotions to give it like different feels. But yeah, I've been combining it more with like vanilla type lotions or sweet, you know, creamy type lotions. And it's been really good. I love this scent. It is pretty long lasting really. Um, it kind of seems like it's not going to be, but I can still smell it on myself throughout the day when I wear this without refreshing. So I do enjoy this one quite a bit. I've been looking for like a good chocolate scent, just a standalone chocolate, which this is kind of it because it's just like a creamier chocolate scent. But to me, like I said, it smells more like, um, it smells like a, like powder, like the powdered cocoa or something like that, like that kind of chocolate. But yeah, it definitely lingers when you use it like on your clothes and stuff and it smells really, really good. So I definitely had to add this as one of my top favorites from 2023. So that is it guys. That is all I have. Um, so those were my top five plus my extra little six bonus fragrance mist. Um, my top five favorites for this last year, 2023. So I would love if you go ahead and let me know what your top favorites are from 2023 as well. Go ahead and put it in the comments here. I would love to know um, if you like this kind of content and you haven't subscribed yet, I would definitely love to have you subscribe. Um, I do weekly videos and then um, I also do like hauls and different things like that and body care videos. So I would definitely love to have you subscribe if you're into that kind of content. If you liked this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Stay safe out there. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video.